Right, in this short video, we're going to take a look at string variables in Python. I'm using the, the Python shell, um, in the Python interpreter, from in idle. Um, you can use Python in various other ways. I actually like to use uh, Vim for, for my Python coding and throw it straight in the terminal. But um, here it is in, in idle. And um, we'll, uh, well, here we go. So first of all, to let's create a string. And we're calling it s equals um, hello world. So let's create a little string called s. And I can print s. And we see that that prints the value of s. So that's the name of, of our object, and that's its value. So print s gives me hello world. So let me uh, do something a bit different. My name is... Vince, because my name is Vince. So if I now print S, it prints out um, the object S, which is value. My name is Vince. Now we can uh, not print out everything. So say I only wanted the the four, the fifth character of that string, I put in square brackets the number five. Uh, sorry, the number four. Um, so if I want the fifth character, I put in the number four, and I'll explain why. So we see. One, two, three, four, five. A is indeed the fifth character. Um, and that is simply because Python starts counting at zero. So you see the, the letter M. All right? But we can also print out um, bits of, of, of a string. So from one uh, to four, you get the second character up until the fifth. All right? Um, we can use uh, the index method to, to find a particular character in a string. So for example, we can create an object A and we call and we make it um, the index, in other words the position of a capital V in S. So if I now print out A, see it's the 11th. And if we count it all the way there, you would indeed get that that is um, the, the, the position. Um, and we can obviously combine these things to get a string starting at a particular point. So here I'm actually giving it a number, right? A is the number 11. So I'm saying print out the, the string S starting um, at 11 and I'm not putting in a, a value for the ending condition and so it just prints it all out. I could do the opposite and print everything to that point, and we get my name is. So that's some very, very basic um, string manipulation in Python.